Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. You're all lucky enough to live in a world where technology is at your fingertips. And I mean, I need technology to survive, so I'm pretty thankful for its existence too. Thank you, animator, I love you. Not only does it entertain you, but it also probably saved your life. To understand why, let's take a trip to London in 1854. At this time, a town was struck with a terrible outbreak of cholera, a disease which makes you have watery diarrhea for days, leading to dehydration and potential death. The reason for the sudden outbreak, you're wondering? Well, it turns out that the water from a certain pump was contaminated with, wait for it, sewage water. Yep, it's about as gross as it can get. But today, for most of you watching, this would never happen. And that's because of improvements in water purification. These include filtering the water with sand, gravel, or charcoal, and then disinfecting it to kill any parasites. And it's fairly safe to say that if it weren't for this, potentially deadly diseases may be much more common, and you would probably not be around to watch this video. But what about other possible threats to your life, like diseases? Take polio, for example. This incurable disease destroys nerve cells, leading to paralysis and possibly suffocation. But vaccines have eradicated it through most of the world. And if it weren't for smallpox vaccines, it's estimated that 2 million people would die every year from the disease. And to put that into perspective, it would only take 15 years for the disease to kill the amount of people currently living in Canada. So yeah, vaccines are pretty great. And for the record, no, they don't cause autism. Please don't believe those horrifically inaccurate myths. It makes me sad just thinking about it. But anyway, back to avoiding death. Hooray! Think of all the medical technology that has helped keep you alive. For diabetics, they have pumps and pens to give themselves insulin. This allows them to use the glucose from food as energy, instead of having it build up in their bloodstream. Cancer patients have access to chemotherapy and radiation, which help kill the cancer cells in their body. And people with asthma can treat their attacks with inhalers that relax their bronchial smooth muscles, allowing them to get in more oxygen. And the list goes on and on. I can only imagine the types of life-saving technology in the future. I'm sure we could do a video on the stuff developing now. Some scientists are working on nanobots in the bloodstream, so I'll be keeping an eye out for that. Has technology ever saved your life before? If so, let me know in the comment section below. We use technology to teach ourselves every single day, but what if we were never taught anything? Check out this video and find out. you reacted in a similar way. So it's clear that observation facilitates learning, but what if you didn't have anything to observe or anyone to teach you? In other words, what if you were never taught anything? To begin, let's discuss what it would be like if you were missing something as fundamental as language. Understandably, this is a tricky thing to study because, you know, it's incredibly immoral to isolate a person for the sake of scientific research. There's a link in the description if you're on mobile. As always, my name is Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.